Now over at exit 190, this is Horizon South Parkway in Grovetown. In two weeks, all of this busy traffic backup you see heading up and down the ramps will be cut off for 90 hours. Thousands of drivers will have to detour. They'll have to find another way home or to work while they change this driving pattern. This is what they've been working towards for years. Our Hallie Turner is live with what you can expect. Well, Laura, the saying, the saying goes, diamonds are a girl's best friend, but pretty soon for about 50,000 drivers a day, there's gonna be a new type of diamond that could be their best friend. Orange barrels here, orange barrels there, and all of this road work creating confusion everywhere. They're always changing, they're always like changing the lane, or they don't wanna do some this lane, they're changing that lane, and it could just be, it could be uh, confusing. Harner Cartret, along with thousands of other people, travel Lewiston Road multiple times a day. In the morning times when going to work, like, you know, 4 a.m., it really isn't that bad in the morning because there's no one on the roads. But in the evenings coming back from work, I come back around 5, and it can get pretty bad, pretty backed up on the interstate. But leaders say the headache will soon be gone. Yeah, the diverging diamond uh, across I-20 is going to be tremendous. I know a lot of folks are intimidated by it. Uh, or the thought of, of um, you know, working through it, but they're designed uh, with the driver's comfort in mind. Before the project can wrap up in July of 2024, another closure is on the way. From noon on January 18th through 6 a.m. on January 22nd begins the 90-hour shutdown. This means for these four days, the following routes will be closed. Both on and off ramps for exit 190 eastbound and westbound, exit 190 interchange, exit I-20 overpass and Horizon South Parkway between I-20 East Ramp and Gateway Boulevard will be closed. But the good news is Columbia County engineers say Columbia Road westbound and Wrightsboro Road eastbound are two good alternate routes to take. Our, our big thing is, is if you can, uh, do your best to avoid this interchange at all costs during the closure. Now, Kyle tells me that they've been working really hard and closely with emergency personnel to make sure that if there is something that goes wrong on site, that those EMS workers can get on here to get that handled right away. But the most important thing you should know is to pay attention to this change, prepare, share the word, and get ready for what's to come. Yeah, not a bad idea to go ahead and look online to see how that traffic pattern works. We have it on our website for you at WRDW.com.